Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Today, I am going to be dipping back into some drugstore. I have mostly new drugstore, new to me. I don't feel it necessary to always jump on the bandwagon of what's trending, what's not trending. If my eye catches it and I like it and I feel that I need it or don't need it, <laughs> I get it. But today, again, we're going to do drugstore. Today, I have mostly new drugstore products and just a few that are not new. If you are new here, I'd like to invite you to give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, ring that notification bell, then you will be notified every time I upload a new video. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Let's get started. First up today, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. This is in the shade C15 Cool Light. This has a nice thin consistency and it looks like the right shade. Using my BK Beauty 106, I'm just going to tap that off the back of my hand, rub it into the brush, and just start dabbing it onto my face. It's a great shade match. It's very, very light. A more watery, serum-y foundation. And taking my damp sponge, I'm just going to press that all in, making for a seamless set down. Now I would say this is a medium coverage foundation. It's certainly not a full coverage foundation, but it's very light. It feels very nice. The true test is how bad is it setting in the creases on my chin. Do you guys, whenever you set down to do your makeup, ever feel like as soon as you start, you have something on your face, be it a hair, a piece of fuzz, whatever. Now I, you know I have dogs. So I'm always constantly, as soon as I sit down to do my makeup, I think, why does my face feel like it's full of dog fur? Moving on to concealer, I am going to be using again today the Maybelline Superstay Active Wear Foundation. Mine is in the shade 10. I'm just going to put a little bit in each inner corner and just a little dot here. And taking my Angie Hot and Flashy Concealer Brush, I'm just going to smooth that out and tap that in. And I think that looks nice. So I'm going to do a little spot concealing like I always do. Right in here I'm covering up that vein that runs all the way down to me. It just drives me crazy. I don't know why. I've <laughs> been looking at it all my life. And I'm also going to be using this as an eyelid primer today because I want to stay to all drugstore. I'm going to take my sponge, just tap some of that in. I'm going to take my concealer brush again just to do my eyelids. So this concealer was my number one favorite for 2023 and it's fairly new to me, but I just really like it. The bronzer I'm going to use today is by Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder in the shade Lighter Skin. This is a huge pan. It takes up the whole palm of my hand. It's a nice shade. It's just nice. New makeup is so much fun. I'm going to be using my Makeup by Ariel from Morphe to use this, a big fluffy brush. So I'm just going to be tapping that under my cheekbones. Just, you know, I like that color. This is kind of, I'm feeling that it's a very lightweight powder. But it is, I really like the color. I, I, now I'm wondering if it would go well with that Persona Mojave Multi-Stick Bronzer that I got. Oh, and I love that so. So we'll have to try that out. I like this color. Putting some up in my hairline and of course under the jawline. Bring it down onto my neck. I really like that. I told you I was ordering a new Essence blush, baked blush. I love these. The last, the pinker one that I have. The other one that I have is actually one of my favorite, favorite blushes. This is in the shade Goldie Cassis. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Look at how pretty that is. That'll look good. Maybe too cool. I don't know. We'll go in sparingly. So I'm just going to tap that onto my BK Beauty 109 and I'm going to get the excess off because I'm not sure how this will lay on my face and it's it got a little pop, but it is so easy. It is so easy to use these, these blushes. I just love them. 
And I bring it up on the side of my temple because that's how I like it. Oh, you guys, this is, I love this too. And then I'm going to take my damp sponge and just decrease the sharp edges. I'm liking that. Moving on to eyeshadow. Now I told you before that I picked up a whole bunch of ColourPop at the Ulta fall sale. And this is the ColourPop 1111. And these are the shades. Very pretty. ColourPop to me is a hit and a miss. Most of the time I love their palettes and there's some that I just don't like. So I'm, I'm always curious, is this gonna work or isn't it gonna work? So taking my BK Beauty 202, I'm gonna start with this shade right here, Lucky Babe. And I'm just gonna start building up that crease in my lower lid. Not my lower lid. Yes, my lower, well, my lid. I guess it's lower, it's lower than my crease, right? But not my lower, lower lash line. That's where my brain went. Now this one is taking a little bit of extra product to build up that crease. And it looks darker in the pan than it does on the eye. But that is okay. I actually like this shade very much. I'm going to go into this shade right here. And that is called Protection. Using that same BK Beauty brush, I'm just going to go below the crease with that. Just to add a little bit more dimension. At least in my mind it does. Because that first shade that I used, I'm going to go over the top at the very end. So that's why I keep that there. Next up in the outer corner, I'm going to use this shade right here. It's called Perfect Harmony. Now in the pan, it looks like it has a little bit of plumish purpley in it. And we'll find out. Oh yeah, that's what it is. And I'm just going to Lay that in, in that V formation, in my outer corner. You guys, that is really pretty. And I'm going to take my fluffy brush, and I'm just going to blend that all in. Next, I'm going to use this shimmer shade right here. This is called Balanced. Let's see how it picks up. Yeah, that's really pretty. Let's see how that lays. I'm just going to dot that. Tap that on the center of my eyelid. And same for the other eye. That is, I really like that. Blend those two together. Right now I'm not gonna put a shimmer shade in the corner just because the next lightest one down is white and that I don't think I'm going to do. So I'll be right back. I'm going to go do my eyebrows and my lashes and then we'll continue on with this look. That task has been completed. Today I used a new product on my brows, new to me, the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. This is in the shade Neutral Brown. So I know that you weren't watching me use it, but I don't like it. First impressions, I don't like it. The color is fine. But this to me is really creamy. It slides. I don't like it at all. I will use it again because I have two of them. Two of them came in the package. But this to me is... These I did not like. <laughs> Can't win them all. Back to the eyeshadow. And using that ColourPop 1111 palette, I'm going to go into the darkest shade, Perfect Harmony, and just start lining my bottom lash line with the BK Beauty smudgy brush. I call it the smudgy brush. It's actually the 204 brush, but that that's just what I call it cuz I really own I mean I only use it for this and I just love it. Oh, I love this for the bottom lash line. This is a great color for that. I'm going to go in with my Angie Hot and Flashy A502. Build that up a little bit more in the outside corner. I'm going to go ahead and use my 
fluffy brush here and just blend. I'm blending it toward the inside of my eye so it, the dark doesn't get dragged out. Using my shimmer shade brush, I'm going to go back into that shimmery shade and just put that in the center of my eyelid. A little bit more of the dark and blend. Lower Lash Mascara. Just gonna tap a little bit more of that blush on. I love this blush. I'm gonna run do my hair and when I get back we'll see where I need a little touch up. And I'm back. So now I'm just gonna do a little touch up. I'm gonna reassess and see if I need to add anything or fix anything. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that bronzer and I'm just gonna warm up underneath the blush a little bit more. This, I really like this color. And just put a little bit more in my hairline, down on my neck. Again, don't forget the neck. If you're fair skin like I am, this part of you never gets any sun. And I'm gonna tap a little bit again into that blush but not a whole lot and tap that off the brush and then a little bit on the back of my hand so I don't overdo it because I just want it to pop a little bit more. I love this blush. <laughs> and dipping back into that lighter shade of the 1111 ColourPop eyeshadow palette, I'm just going to take a little bit of that darker shade and add again to the corners. And taking that smudgy brush again, dipping into the dark shade, and just making sure it's all connected there. I like the bottom lash line color to connect to the dark outer corner eyeshadow color. Today I'm actually going to add a little bit more of the lower lash mascara. Make this look pop a little bit more. Now my eyelashes on the bottom are very sparse and weird. They don't lay right. You hear my dogs? <laughs> you gotta let me finish. Yes, you do. I'll be right there. And now for some lips. I've been wanting to use this L'Oreal Colorish. What's it called? It is called the Burnished Blush Colorish Shine. And I think today's the look to use it. I'm gonna re-swatch this again for you. I think that is so, so pretty. So, here we go. I love it. Very good. I actually put a few more of these in my Amazon cart. I'm going to take a setting spray today and I'm going to use the Milk Mattifying Setting Spray. I'm going to take a big velour puff and I'm going to press in that setting spray. And there's the finished look. Don't knock drugstore. Drugstore is awesome. I actually enjoy a lot of my drugstore products more than I do my high-end makeup. And that'll be that for the day. I hope you're well wherever you are. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Bye!